Okay, so in this tutorial we will learn how to make a steering wheel for our cars. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing we need is an actual steering wheel. So let's open up Unity SS store here and search for simple input simple input system. I guess it was let's just find the one here if i could just um yeah there it is the second one here open it up and let's refer to load and hit import here and i've already imported this in my project you guys go ahead and hit import here import this and it will create this folder here and inside that folder it will be our simple input system so let me just quickly make a scene here and a ground for our car to actually drive around on okay so this will do for now i guess and let's just go ahead and find our car here from the unity standard asset and drag and drop here reset the position and this looks just fine okay so grab the camera and make it a child of the car here and reset this position and let's just go ahead and change the angle here okay so I guess this looks good okay so yeah it actually looks good but I'll just make it drag it a bit closer here and a bit higher so we can actually see what's in front of us okay so yeah this this looks good so now let's go ahead and create a canvas here and let's open up the simple input system and go to the prefabs folder and drag and drop the steering inside the canvas okay so i'll just reset the size a bit and i'll make it 350 by 350 and change its position a bit so that we can actually grab it very smoothly okay so no this doesn't look so good i'll just change its position a bit okay move it a bit down okay so this looks good actually so now let's go ahead and find our car here and open up the car user controller script it will open up in visual studio here okay so the, so the only thing we need to do is change this line of code here and just replace it with simple input dot get axis and the axis we want to get is horizontal axis horizontal and that that is it so actually let's try it out to see if it works and let's just load here and and it actually works that's good and it works We can also add other controls like gas and brake buttons for mobile devices. I'll show you how to do exactly that. Now we will just go into canvas and make a button here. Okay, let's name it gas button and let's just change its position. So I'll just place it on the bottom right corner and actually change this position a little bit okay so this looks good I'll change this bright and let me just find the one which is also included in the simple input pack okay so now it looks good I'll just delete the text here and let me just duplicate it for the break button Okay, so let's name it break. Change its position and place it right here. Okay, so this looks good actually. Let's just change the sprite so it moves downward so we know that it's break and not 
Kiev. Okay, so let's go back into the car controller and let's just make two integer values here so that it starts the gas input and also the brake input here. Okay, so now we will make a couple of uh, public methods which will change the uh, gas input value and also the brake input value. Let's make a public function which changes when the gas is pressed. So it makes the gas input 1 and let's replicate this and let's call it gas released. Gas released and let's make the gas input zero so duplicate these both methods and we will do exactly the same for the brake input so brake pressed and the other one change it to the brake released okay also change the variables here brake input is equal to zero and brake input is equal to one so i think that's it and now just we will just replace the values here so we can also move it with the actual controls okay so replace this line of code with the one we just created here gas input and the handbrake part with brake input yeah i think that's it let's head into unity select both of our buttons here and the next thing we need to do is add some event triggers for our buttons here so the type of events we need to add are pointer down and also pointer up so we will repeat the same for our brake input now let's just assign the car controller to our event triggers here okay, let me just quickly do that and let's just select for button press we will select gas and gas pressed and for button pointer up we will select gas release and we will say repeat the same process here for the brake button we will add some pointer down and pointer up triggers and the next thing we need to assign the car controller here and now we will assign the methods that we already made brake pressed for pointer down and brake released for pointer up so i think that is it now let's try if it actually works okay let's just load here okay so it actually works but then okay so it actually works however the game is lagging but you guys can try it out and let's see if it works for you okay so this is it guys and i hope you liked this video if you did please consider subscribing smash that subscribe button and just stay tuned for another videos